So yes, finally, finally. Finally? Though, of course, we're back with another uh, pretty quick Pokemon video, though. Of course, though. But yes, 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 of course. Yeah, we did get some new, um, of course, the new um, episode review and stuff like that. Of course, Sadia has returned in Pokemon, of course. Been since, only since, like, you know, stuff like that, of course, with the whole Meloetta arc. Um, but yeah, she's back in her center attire. Okay. But yeah, I'm um, I think on Unibus, she was just on vacation, so it makes sense why she had her, like, her attire on. I actually like that Unibus outfit that, she, that they gave her. Something a little bit different, you know, her not being a champion, just, you know, being a normal trainer and stuff like that, though, of course. The episode um, is actually pretty simple and pretty easy to go over. Nothing crazy, nothing too long or whatever. Again, nothing crazy, nothing too long. Nothing like, oh my god, it's gonna make your head shock off. But a couple of little things, a little bit hit and misses. I did skim through a little bit of the episodes just to get my proper context and stuff like that, of course. But I was also like, it, like it's not bad, but it's also like, I mean, a good starting episode going up to it, but it's also like, didn't really need to be there, but I don't know. Like, I feel like it's like, I'm not saying it's the dawn problem. But it's also like, like really, again, like just kind of doing this again a little bit with, you know, you know, normal episodes, something happens and, you know, the main person comes in and is just randomly there. I don't know. Because I feel like some of the other just kind of just really here to hype, hype, up, hype up, which is pretty good. Not, you know, putting her in a battle episode, being like, oh yeah, it's a quick draw, like, you know, her ass talking a little bit in the battle, like Volker did, but, um, I don't know, because Volkner, like, he invited Ash and stuff like that. We got to see a little bit of it, even in the past. Um, this episode isn't that bad either, though, but I, I don't know. Just, I don't know. I did get started really quick, really quick, really quick though. But yeah, gonna go ahead and get started, of course. So in Johto, some mysterious, like, you know, um, something mysterious just happened with, um, you know, the just being pitch black night. Not pitch black, but it's just being pretty much night in Johto. A lot of those, of course, Ash and Go, um, go to Johto to <laughs> Ash and Go, go to Johto. <laughs> and, you know, there's only jokes on your wrong ones that your guys come on. But yeah, of course they go on Johto to investigate what's happening with Johto being at night 24 7, pretty much. Not pretty much, but it's just, it's just trying to like pitch black night and stuff like that. Though. But everything up is so up and running, like just like it's, as it's daytime though. But like everybody's not really sleeping, but everybody's just pretty much up during the day. Never up during the night, even though like it's supposed to be daytime. But yeah, a little bit weird. And of course, it sees all of them with the pseudo Wudo. Of course, I guess it's playing and going over like what's happening and stuff like that, of course. And of course, we see um, goes, you know, catching Pokemon. Mine, obviously, he's like no obvious. Um, a hunchcrow, of course. Um, I say Murkrow, hunchcrow. Sorry, same, like, same evolution. Of course, Go catches it pretty quickly as well. Just you know, I guess for like the problem episode because he usually catches it and it's like a big problem kind of thing, though. Of course, but yeah, of course. Always see, a, of course, you know, see the flies and stuff like that. Of course, kind of like we kind of like see what's happening. You know, this is night, no like no nutrients for like flies and stuff like that during the daytime. So, of course, we see another like little not meteor sharp, but we see also another like little mysterious blue light coming down as well. So, yeah, I see like um, we see also this little arm, um, you know, we see him having a fog like that, which actually is pretty cool though. But again, like I said, so listen to the sun's kind of out, they can't like the plants can't get nutrients for the sun, from the sun and stuff like that. They grow, so of course, Google powers it up, uh, which is pretty cool. I like that little um, kind of thing it did. I did that before when it first came around, but also I kind of like it there, like using this power again right there. So of course you see Go and Ash kind of investigate what's saying, kind of just doing our back theories and stuff like that. Of course, seeing like what's going on. You see, um, I think Kira, I believe. I'll come in and guess her name for the episode. It seemed like she had like a label, like her run part of Pokemon. I guess it like it disappeared, just went away. I don't think like the flat out word just died or whatever, but so it seemed like it just mysteriously disappeared and went away. Um, of course it seemed like um she's like you know looking at the sky, seeing like something's wrong with her. Could she be the main antagonist of this series? And of course, her, mom, her mother comes in, I guess, trying to find her and stuff like that. Um, and of course, they all have like a little um, good moment, though. But it seems like um, she's like um, just super sad about it. Like, how happened to like, her? That's not like a playable, but I, I forgot the first time I was it. But yeah, of course, um, we see like the whole story and stuff like that, like what basically happened. I don't know what it is. I'm just kind of skimming through all of it pretty much, though. But yeah. Of course, the full like translation of the problems, of course, of uh, them having both. I think that they're just going over, I guess, the Pokemon that's basically. I guess she's trying, she trying to describe the Pokemon to Ash and Go, and they, you know, quickly just kind of get confused, like, what's happening and stuff like that. Like, what Pokemon has, like, an eye like that. It's kind of hanging out like an unknown. Hmm? Sus? That's the first time I actually make myself say sus in the video. Then of course we see Ash go um, take a little bit of a break, I guess it's funny going go for I guess goes like analyzing the problem going go for attacking Butterfly for Ash and of course um go um, finds a little mysterious um I guess go finds like a break and leave though of course Ash go leave. And also we see, you know, familiar race come back in, um via Pikachu's face, you know. Cynthia, so yeah, um of course you're not going on thumbnail, you guys know what it is. But yeah, of course, I'm not doing it, you know, this is not clickbait. 
This is actually happening. I think it's a good video title. This is not clickbait. This is actually happening. Yeah, so Cynthia's back, of course, in the anime. Pretty good stuff, of course. Um, but yeah, first time we've seen her back in a couple of years. It's good. Again, this, this part of the episode is pretty good. Again, the first part is pretty good building it up. Then, of course, this. I don't know, me reviewing it, I guess, you know, it's pretty good. But it's also, like, she, she just kind of, like, put her here just, you know, to be like, okay, we're going to have Cynthia. You know, she's back and stuff like that. You know, we put her in a promo. She's back. It's pretty good, but also, like, definitely, really, like, we, we saw the build up to it as well, you know, the Badger and Bolton episode. Pretty good build up. I love that, you know, bringing her back after such a long time. But it's also, like, again, like, it's kind of the jury's problem. It's like, they build it up and stuff like that, but it's also, like, like, they, like, they kind of, like, really didn't plan it like that, I guess. I guess for her. Not like her to be this episode, of course, because we saw the beat, like, promo, preview, whatever, I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know. I mean, it's good, but it's also, like, I mean, of course, in the beginning of the episode, of course, it goes over the problem, then, of course, you know, basically, you know, the character basically just spoiled, like, what we had, and, of course, you know, because we, we already obviously know what's going on. Of course, Cynthia comes in and something like that, of course. But, yeah, of course, this is a ghost first time seeing her, so, of course, um, he's super excited, though. We are, we're all super excited. We all know it, though, of course. But, yeah, of course, everybody explained, of course, Cynthia goes over the problem as well, you know, they see Ash go investigating this, something like that, of course. We also see Unknown, of course. Um, so like, um, Ash, you know, kind of like points it out and stuff like that, of course, and Cynthia. Of course, Go looks it up, obviously, so I can see, you know, all the results of it. And of course, um, Go does it as well, though. So, I'm um, just kind of, you know, Cynthia still picking it, explain it for the problem and everything. Everybody should bring through all the solutions and, you know, other, other points they can do and stuff like that, of course. Um, of course, um, Ash and Go go back to Kira, of course, we see Cynthia with her as well. Cynthia with Dom Ash, and, um, of course, you know, Ash goes with the, and of course, meet Kira and her mother. They'll take a little bit of a break, they'll kind of explain and go and go for the problem, of course, why it's just Joe Knight and stuff like that, of course. And, you know, this is like, um, Kira got her wish via an unknown, it seems like. So it seems like they, um, found Kira, found her problem, and of course, changed it from day to night. Which I forgot they could do that again. No, no, could pretty much kind of grant your wish and stuff like that, pretty much. So we've seen it, of course, with the third Pokemon movie, so. Yeah, good callback to that. Um, and of course, in the opinion episode as well, I guess, running about her theories, basically saying Kira's basically the big, you know, uh, you know, basically, you know, they uh, they all think like she's pretty much like not crazy, but they all pretty much like, eh, it's not her, come on, like, come on, it's not, it's really not her. And of course, basically, she explains, of course, you know, it's actually her, you know, the problem and stuff like that. Um, of course, Cynthia tells her, though, Kira's mother to stand back. Of course, Ash and Go Pow, and um, it seems like they fight their equal, like Shadow, of course, you know, Shadow Clone. Figure Pokemon again. Big movie three reference with Antane and stuff like that. Really good. I like that callback. I just thought that as the figure was going on. Of course, they all battle with the Clone counterparts. We've seen the preview with Cinerate as well. We was like, what the heck is this? But yeah, of course, everyone starts battling out and stuff like that, of course. Um, so they explain, like, you know, they're basically just duplicate Pokemon. Of course, we see her, you know, one shot game guard jump come in. Of course, they start to copy it. And then Cynthia literally shows, like, oh, she's a champion and boss and one shot them pretty much all. So. Yeah, of course, they tell Akira to stop though. They're yeah, basically, you know, having a moment and stuff like that, of course. Basically, tell her, like, kind of like, just like let it go and stuff like that. You know, people in the day, you know, you can't have day without night and stuff like that. Typical, typical Pokemon speech, of course. Akira decides to, like, you know, tear up and let go, of course, and basically make it daytime again and remember her and her Pokemon friend as well. So, yeah, really good moment though, right there. Again, it builds up pretty well though, as well. Well, as well, of course, we get the daytime coming back, and of course, I'm um, gonna get a teaser to see what can feature for Ash to go. Of course, meeting Cynthia again coming back, pretty solid again, like I said, though. Uh, of course, we see unknown, so it's not the end of it, though. So, of course, it might come back later, um, later in the future episode. So, um, yeah, not that bad, though. Again, the whole like, so I can kind of like you know, deal with her and stuff like that, basically. For Kira, um, um, basically, um, yeah, I'm sure. um, basically, um. Her problem was a lot of, she left a friend, and of course she's just trying to like, you know, get it back and stuff like that, and she's just super scary, you know, she's unknown, as a friend, seeing it during the night, of course Cynthia comes in, pretty good again for her coming in though, again, it's okay, I don't know, it just, it's okay, but also like, like, they just kind of showed up, I think it could have been good without Cynthia, but I guess that may, by running everything theory-wise, makes sense, hey guys, yeah, just, I guess to show off how strong she is going to be in the future. Um, I guess so, like I feel like this is really like more of a teaser for Cynthia to come back again. This episode, I don't know, it's good and it's I don't know. I want to say it's good and bad. It's not bad. It's also like um, <clears throat> I don't know. I just I, I, don't, I can't really think of anything though. Say both of them. Like it's good, but it's also like the good building of Cynthia. The whole like you know you're losing a friend and stuff like that. Of course, she wants to get over that, go up as a person. It's Pokemon Channel. I love that storyline. It's also like. It's kept been again, it's like the Chloe, like, you know, it's like the Chloe and Dawn episode, like, Chloe and Dawn just kind of came back out of nowhere, Cynthia kind of does it here a little bit as well, 
but it's also good to see Cynthia come back as well. Again, I'm not mad at Cynthia, like, in that, in that episode. I'm glad she's back. We all know she's back. We know she's the bay goddess of Pokemon, her one-shot guard chomp that destroys everything in one go. Oh, the Cinema Remix is going to be insane with Cynthia. I keep thinking about that every day. I think we have, like, what, I think 40? Uh, like, 43? Or, like, a 40? Four days from this recording? Until the Undead Man Pro Remix come out, so... Yeah, of course, because you can one-shot everybody. I'm probably just going to make her difficult on purpose and watch all your Pokemon. And then the bug trainer got from the League 4. What was the name again? <laughs> That's how much I forgot, though. But yeah, pretty solid episode, like I said, though. Again, Kieran losing a friend, and of course, you know, her getting over that, growing up as a Pokemon trainer or a person yeah, um, in the future. Pretty good stuff against Cynthia coming back isn't that bad either. Again, um, again the whole like, night turning into Joe, Joe turning into night completely. And of course, we see Cynthia, you know, outside the center region, pretty much. We see her Unipo, but it's good to see her outside of other regions. I guess just basically getting so it's kind of cool they just call it Cynthia. Like, you know, she's a champion, so now she can't, she can't go away, you know. Just do it on there. I thought they just kind of called her from back up. Oh, okay, Cynthia. Minceno? Perfect. Um, go Joto. <laughs> Pretty much like that, though. But um, overall, though, not a bad episode. It's good to see, um, of course, you know, her, you know, it's good to see, like, the literally Pokemon, literally Pokemon 3, the movie episode with Cynthia. The, you kind of really like that. Maybe Ruvente. But it's pretty much kind of like that. That's what I kind of, that's what I can pretty much kind of just sum it up as that. In my opinion, that's what I can sum it up as. That pretty much. Uh, that's what I kind of say. No, again, it's good. And it's also like, eh. But it, again, it's still a pretty solid episode. So it's good to see Cynthia back again. More beautiful animation with the night and stuff like that. Everybody, you know, basically it's reversed. You know, everybody working in the nighttime now into the daytime. That was actually pretty funny. I kind of like that. And of course, like I said, Cynthia coming back is pretty good. Um, again, building her up, you know, her being a champion of so sound. We, we know it, but for older fans, of course. You know, for older fans, it's going to be really good. For like me, for like newer fans, of course, it's going to be like, you know, oh my gosh, Cynthia's back. <laughs> like something like that. Or whatever. Or, you know, well, Cynthia is a champion of Senna, of course. But, yeah. You get a lot of just stuff in the future and stuff like that. A lot of just craziness. But you already know the next episode I'm going to review. Of course, it's going to be next Friday. The Mega Lucario episode, I guess, where I actually you know, finally get Mega Lucario. But then the month is going to be As versus B, so we're going to have to wait. There's going to be a lot of episodes going up to that. We know Drace could just, like, just throw it in there. But, like, oh yeah, actually, we're just going to rematch. Well, who cares? So, they're going to shove it in like 50 again. So, yeah. See you guys later, though. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you for that. Oh, good to kid, though. Make sure I stay safe. Wash your hands. God bless all of you. If you're going out, if you're a massive toilet paper, if you're really, really, really And out. So, what do I think about what's in for the push? Like, you hate it. Again, pretty solid episode. Pretty good stuff again. I won't say it's good or bad. It's good. Again, I'm, I'm not saying it's good or bad. It's a solid in between, honestly. Again, Cynthia coming back, back from the girl with, with mysterious powers with Pokemon. Again, we've seen it was, it's literally movie three with Slash, you know, with some, you know, gay animation and Cynthia coming back, so. I don't know. See you guys later with the next. Peace out.